Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we implemented the method to refund the amount to the customer when transaction for creating a booking gets rolled back into our application. Now in this lecture, we will move forward with one more step towards the refund feature. Here we will add device jam and add an admin user device model because we will not directly refund the amount for any customer's cancellation request. When the customer submit a request, we will first notify about this request to the admin user via an email and then admin, admin user will review this cancellation request. If he found that the cancellation request from the customer is valid and not violating any refund rules, then the admin user will process the refund request else an email will be sent to the customer about the action taken. However, even if the refund processed successfully, we will send an email to the customer to let him know that his refund has been processed successfully and he will rece receive the refunded amount in his uh, card or in, in bank very soon. Okay. Here, let me explain why I am talking about that admin user will review the refund rules first before processing that because if there are no refund rules defined for our system, then customer might ask for cancellation after the workshop start or just before the workshop start okay and in real life suppose if you have booked some tickets for a movie or for some events then you can ask for refund if you fall under some criteria for example you can cancel your tickets before 24 hours or 48 hours of uh, event starts okay you cannot uh, cancel your tickets uh, like you have booked the tickets for a movie and just before uh, movie start about five minutes or movie started you cannot cancel your tickets okay you have to lose your money in that case okay and in some cases you might have asked for refund refer, refer cancellation within less than 24 hours then you might have to pay some amount as service charge and so on okay so these will be some rules that we will implement into our course project so that admin user can validate any kind of refund request Okay, and when a refund request satisfies this rule, then he will process refund else he will be notified about the action taken. Here I'm talking about the customer. So if admin refer, process the refund, then customer will be notified that uh, his refund has been processed successfully. And if admin take any other action, then customer will be notified that we can't proceed, proceed that refund just because of these, these things. Okay. So for this purpose, we need an admin user resource. Okay. Now one more thing that here I will not explain the device jam in much details because I already published a lecture where I demonstrated that how to use device jam and customized its views using Bootstrap 5. So I will just add the link of that lecture into the description of this lecture. And if you wish to cover device jam in details, then you can follow that lecture. Okay. So let's add the device gem into your gem file okay so first open your project directory in your preferred text editor and go to your gem file and at the bottom of the gem file let's add the gem gem device okay save it and go to the terminal and run bundle install okay so here you can run bundle install bundle install after installing the bundle, let's install device initializer and configs and for that you need to run rails g device and then install. This will add uh, initializer and a locals file for device into our application. Okay, so here you can see that it has added a device initializer and a device locals file into our config directory config locals directory okay now here you can see that depending upon your applications configuration some manual setup may be required so we will use just this line okay else we will not use anything else okay so just copy this line and paste it into your development.rb so just to project and open development.rb okay and into the development.rb at the bottom of the file save it okay and now switch to the terminal again we edit device gem and we set up the device with its configuration and with its initializer and the local files now it's time to generate a device model okay that we will use to authenticate our application or to verify the customer request 
so we will use admin user device here so you can use rails g device admin user this will create a device model with name admin user okay however this is just optional this is my preferred name if you prefer you can simply use admin name or you can simply prefer super admin or manager or organizer whatever you want to use you can use that okay so it is independent of of this name okay so i'm using rails device admin user okay here i'm not adding any extra attribute i just wanted to use this admin user model with email and password only okay so here you can see that uh, uh, migration has been generated a model has been created okay for this admin user okay now before running the migration okay let's open the admin user model from app models okay here i will include the trackable module okay because i want to track that when and when an admin user signed in and at what time he was signed in last time and all that okay now right after enabling this module into the admin user model just go to the migrations okay and into the migration let's open the last migration that is created by device okay and here just uncomment these lines Okay. these are the attributes for the trackable module okay trackable module can be used to track the sign in count like sign in count current sign in at the date time last sign in at date time and current sign in ip and last sign in ip okay so we need these attributes for trackable purpose and since we enabled this trackable purpose into our admin user device model so we need to uncomment these attributes okay by default trackable purpose is disabled okay if you want to enable it you can do that if you don't want to enable it you can just keep this out you can just remove this trackable module from the device definition and just uh, uh, let's remain these attributes commented okay so now save the file and go to the terminal and run rails db migrate so after running the migration you can see that a table has been created for the admin user okay and you can verify that is in a schema that here you can find the admin user table with attributes device generated attributes okay we did not add any custom attribute for any for our purpose here okay because we don't need that uh, right now email and password will be enough okay now let's restart the server just because we added the device gem okay so restart the server and let's open the sign in form which is provided by device by default okay so go to the terminal uh, go to the browser and here you can open let's say admin user sign in okay so you can see that uh, here is the device login form which is provided by device by default unless you want to customize it you don't need to download device views okay but we will customize it for some purpose because here you can see that we have a sign up link into our sign in form okay but we don't need this because we will never allow any other users to register as admin user on our application so let's remove this sign up link okay and why we don't need this because uh, this is the device model we added for the admin purpose or for the administration purpose of our application okay and that will handle all the responsibilities into the back end okay and this is not a public user uh, authentication purpose so we are not allowing, allowing any customer to sign in as admin user because they can threat other customers data okay but admin user will be responsible to manage all the customers data okay so just to customize this form what we need to do as the next thing that we need to download the device controllers and device views okay because we cannot do that without uh, downloading them okay so let's download so you can use rails g rails g device views and here you can provide your resource name or the scope name okay so we are doing this for admin users so we can use admin users okay and now let's generate this device use for the admin users okay and similarly we can do the same thing for generating the device controllers for admin users okay so let's do controllers okay. here you can see that it has generated views and controllers okay so now what we need to do that we need to open the routes file okay so open the routes.rb and here we need to make some change because unless you mention the specific controllers here your customization will not work for the device okay so let's add controllers 
okay and provide key value pair here let's undo this and let's provide sessions because we're gonna use only sessions and passwords controller okay later we will think about the confirmations and omnith callback but for now we will only use the sessions and password okay we will never gonna use registration for this admin user purpose okay so here we can use admin users and slash then sessions okay do the same thing for passwords admin users slash passwords save the file and now we can see that we have views inside the admin users okay and here you can see there is a shared directory okay and there is a sessions directory sessions means our new sign in form okay so you can click on the sessions and here you can see that we have a partial rendered here admin user shared links okay and this links has the sign up link implemented in it okay so we need to remove this okay so just remove this link okay save the file and now refresh your browser and when you refresh your browser you will see that uh, no sign up link now okay now since we done everything for device we need to create a device user okay and then we will allow that admin user to sign in into the system okay so let's switch to the terminal okay and open the rails console because we will create this admin user from the rails console okay so let's open it and here you can write admin user dot create and then provide email and the email must be admin user admin at the rate webinary webinary dot com and password must be password only not much it should be <laughs> you can choose any password of your choice okay save it and when you run this command you will see that a new admin user will be created into the system okay now we will use this admin user to sign in into our system okay so copy this email okay and remove the existing email from it and now provide the password here and submit to the login form okay after submitting you can see that we are at the upcoming workshops now okay and you can verify through the rail server rails console from the logs that the admin user has been signed in okay but you can see that after sign in there is no flash message that you are signed in successfully okay why because you can see here that our request is submitted as turbo stream right now okay and we need to remove this turbo stream we need to submit our request as html okay and to do that we need to make some changes into the device configuration okay so now go to the project directory and open the device.rb okay. and into the device.rb you need to search for navigational format okay so let's search for navigational formats and here let's uncomment this line number 266 okay and here what you need to provide we need to provide turbo stream okay we need to provide turbo stream here okay and when you provide this turbo stream the request will render the or sorry after signing in or after logging out from the system you will see some flash messages into the bootstrap alert that we used okay so now let's save this and restart the rail server sorry okay restart the rail server because and why we need to restart this time now because we made changes into the initializer file okay so you need to remember this thing always that whenever you make any change into the into these files like let me open this initializer folder okay so this initializer folder contains all the files which are evaluated at the time when your rail server is started okay and if you make any change in this initializer files and you want to see the effect of those changes on your application or within your code then you have to restart your server else the changes will not be reflected okay will never reflect okay so save it and now let's restart refresh the browser okay so here you can see right now my admin user is signed in okay but I need to make one change here that uh, 
I do not have any logout link. Okay, so first I need to add a logout link for this admin user. Okay, so let's go to the header partial that we have already in app shared. Okay, and in this header partial, what we need to do that uh, first we need to make a check that if admin user is signed in, then only we need to display the logout link. Here we will not add any link for login. Okay, we will only add link for logout. So we need to first check that whether the admin user is currently signed in or not okay so let's make uh, let's make that change check okay here we can use if admin user signed in okay and then no else part for that if admin user signed in then what we need to do then we need to provide link to logout okay. and here destroy admin user session path okay. and method delete okay. and let's add this now class to this okay so what we can add now class now link item active so let's add a class attribute here paste it okay and here you can remove this link okay remove it and now you need to keep this link inside this li tag okay so let's handle a uh, place this link destroy link or logout link into the now item okay now save the file and refresh the browser here you will see that logout link is appearing now okay now when you click on logout you will see that signed out successfully okay so now let's try to sign in with admin user again okay. and let's uh, click on the login when you click on the login that you can see now we are seeing some flash messages that signed in successfully okay now let's try to log out and use sign in again to see the error messages okay admin user sorry let's sign up we need to sign in refresh it and now let's remove this email and provide something else and when you click on login okay so now you can see that a request has been submitted and we are getting unauthorized in 5ms okay because rec this create request is, is still submitted as turbo stream okay so what we need to do here that we need to make some changes inside the sessions new form okay so open the admin users session new form okay and now here by default since we are working with rail 7 and these forms are not designed with the rail 7 especially so we need to disable the data turbo stream from the form submission okay so here let's add an html attribute okay and after, into this html attribute what we need to do provide a data and then here turbo false okay now and when you make this data turbo false you will see that even if you submit the wrong request you will see the error message inside the bootstrap flash okay so save it and make some space in the terminal refresh your browser because we make changes into the ui okay or the view template so we need to make a refresh in the browser okay now let's provide something else okay and now submit the form okay here you can see that we are getting invalid email or password error message inside the bootstrap flash notification and now check at the terminal you will see that now request is coming at new as html okay or create as html okay so if you want to avoid turbo stream then you need to remove this as you need to add this html attribute data turbo false into your forms okay and this is not only for the device purpose this is in all forms like if you want to disable turbo stream for those forms so you need to use this 
डेटा टर्बो फॉल्स की वैल्यू पे ओके एंड दैट्स इट सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी एडेड डिवाइस जेम एंड क्रिएटेड एन एडमिन यूजर नाउ इफ यू विश यू कैन कस्टमाइज द डिवाइस फॉर्म्स फॉर द एडमिन यूजर यूजिंग बूट स्टेप फाइव बट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू दिस इन दिस लेक्चर हाउ एवर आई विल एड द कस्टमाइज डिवाइस फॉर्म डिवाइस फॉर्म्स इन टू द रेपोजिटरी ऑफ दिस कोर्स सो यू कैन गो टू इट एंड क्लोन द फॉर्म्स फॉर quick implementation okay now in the next lecture we will add admin name spaces and there we will manage all our resources like customer workshops and refund request for the customers okay so let's try this device implementation for admin user at your end and we will meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe